Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll take a look at the refreshable PDB switchover feature introduced in Oracle 18C. This builds on the PDB refresh feature introduced in Oracle 12.2. There's a separate video on that, which you should probably watch before this. The refreshable PDB switchover feature allows you to switch roles between a refreshable PDB and the primary PDB it's based on. This turns the primary PDB into a refreshable PDB and the original refreshable PDB into the primary read write PDB. Let's see a quick demo of this functionality. We connect to the root container of the CDB1 instance and display the PDBs. We can see we only have a single user defined pluggable database called PDB1. We create a link user in the root container and grant it the create session and create pluggable database privileges. We also have to grant some additional privileges to allow the switchover. We then create a database link to the CDB3 instance. We connect to the root container of the CDB3 instance and display the current pluggable databases. Notice the PDB5 pluggable database is in read write mode. Similar to before, we create a link user, grant it the necessary privileges, and create a database link to the CDB1 instance. In the root container of the CDB1 instance, we create a new pluggable database called PDB5RO as a clone of the remote PDB5 pluggable database. Notice the refresh mode manual clause. This means the pluggable database is refreshable as long as we never open it in read-write mode. We open the new pluggable database in read-only mode and complete the operation. And we can see it in the PDB list. We connect to the CDB3 instance and remind ourselves of the PDBs present. We switch to the PDB5 container and perform the role change or switch over using the alter pluggable database command. Notice we're assigning a refresh mode to the current PDB and effectively telling it which PDB will become its primary by using the from clause. Let's not forget the switchover keyword. Once that completes, we open what's now a refreshable PDB in read-only mode. We can see the status change by querying the DBA PDB's view. Notice the status of refreshing and the refresh mode of manual. Since this PDB is now refreshable, we can refresh it at any point in the normal manner. We close the PDB, refresh it, and open it in read-only mode again. If we connect to the CDB1 instance, we can see the PDB5RO pluggable database is now open in read-write mode, as it is now effectively the new primary PDB. We can switch back to the original state by issuing the switchover command from the CDB1 instance, reversing what we did previously. We can see the status change by querying the DBA PDB's view. Notice the status of refreshing and the refresh mode of manual. If we connect to the CDB3 instance, we can see the PDB5 pluggable database is now open in read-write mode, as it's the primary again. All this sounds similar to what we might expect when using DataGuard, but there's a chance of transaction loss here, so it shouldn't be considered as a replacement. Also, this feature is only available for Enterprise Edition on Engineered Systems and for all editions on Oracle Cloud. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.